Happy Friday and welcome back to my channel. So this week has been kind of anxiety ridden for me. I don't know what is going on. Maybe it's like the stress of the holidays, but I have just been very anxious this past week and it is really rearing its ugly head today. It just so happens to be Friday the 13th, so that's exciting. I'm staying indoors all day. It's a Friday the 13th in December. I'm gonna watch The Nightmare Before Christmas after I finish this video, so I'm pretty excited about that, but that's not what this video is about. So I have been wanting to try what is called art therapy activities. They have it for different things, stress, anxiety, depression. I feel like they all kind of go hand in hand, but I actually got this idea from Pinterest. I came across this blog called Thirsty for Art. It's a blog and a YouTube channel and she is a art therapist and she walks you through these like guided art therapy activities and it's something I've been wanting to try. Obviously I'm super into art. I do portrait illustrations and pet illustrations and graphic design. So I'm very into art but the thing is is I don't know how good I'm gonna be about this because I am very much a control freak. I like things to be perfect and I've already taken a peek at these like exercises and it's all about like just letting whatever you're feeling flow through you and it doesn't have to be perfect and yada yada yada. One of the things that makes me anxious is things not being perfect and things not like the things I want to be perfect not being able to control them so like control is a huge basis to my anxiety, which is why I hate flying on airplanes because I don't have control of the plane. You know what I mean? So most of my anxiety has deep roots in a control issue. So that's what we're gonna be working on today. I have a session pulled up and I'm basically just gonna follow it. I'm gonna let you guys know how I'm feeling throughout the process. And then at the end, I'm going to give you a conclusion whether I think it helped or not. So hopefully this is a fun video for you guys and it's something that you guys can try out. So without further ado, let's get into the art. So I went to Walmart and I got a watercolor kit. I started at Dollar Tree because I thought that Dollar Tree had watercolor pads and just like the paints, just the regular paints, not these fancy ones that I bought. Uh, but for some reason, my Dollar Tree didn't have them. So I had to go to Walmart and I got this set for six or $7. It came with the watercolor pad, which has not that much paper in it, but I mean, you know, enough. Um, I think it has like 12 sheets of watercolor paper and you can cut these in half you know, to make them smaller, whatever you wanna do. And then it came with all these paints, which is awesome because it has all these cool colors. Um, I don't know how to use these, so we're just gonna wing it, I think, or I'm gonna look up a tutorial real quick. I have no idea what I'm doing, so that's the fun of it, I guess. I feel so less stressed. All right, so I guess the first thing is to figure out how to use these paints. Okay, so you just add water to it. <laughs> I figured it was that simple, but pause, pause, pause. Thank you. I thought it was that simple, but I grew up with like the cake ones, like where you just put water on your brush and you put it on there and that's it. I've never seen these fancy things before. So anyways, now we're ready to begin our art therapy. <laughs> now that I've stressed myself out even more. <laughs> So I'm gonna leave a link down below to the video that I am following so that you guys can try it out for yourself. Okay, so she's telling me to draw a circle first. She said it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect, Christina. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, keep that in mind. <laughs> this is what my circle looks like. Definitely not perfect, but it's okay because it doesn't have to be perfect. We're getting over that today. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. And imagine that this Her anxiety is so we feel soothing. is visible. Imagine it has shapes, lines, and colors. How would it look like? Perhaps it's big or small, or heavy or light. Simply allow the image to come to you. 
Okay, so now I am supposed to draw my anxieties, my fears, my worries, what have you, inside the circle. So that's what we're gonna do. So right now I am working on the circle. I've got my dark colors. I've got black, I've got blue, and I've got a dark green. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna use the green. I'm trying to make maybe like a galaxy. I don't know. I feel like the inside of my circle needs to be like dark. I guess the feeling I'm trying to interpret is just like a heaviness almost. I don't know what I'm trying to interpret. It's very odd. Begin putting that image onto your page with the pencil or pastel when you are ready. She's using pastels in this video, um, but I thought watercolors were more fun, so I'm already breaking the rules. There is no judgment, and there is no right or wrong way to do this. Simply focus on the process of expressing your thoughts and feelings and release any worries about what it will look like. All right, so basically you're just like supposed to let your feelings flow through the brush. And like if this isn't an accurate representation of my feelings right now, I don't know what is. So I think it's working. I think I'm doing a good job. It's bugging me that I can't get in the lines, but um that's part of the process, you know? You just gotta let go of your control, apparently. All right, we're gonna move on to blue. I feel like I'm not doing this right, but she said there's no wrong way, so I believe her. I feel like the more I do this, the more I don't care that it's getting out of the lines. Does that mean it's working? And I'm just having fun, like, spreading this paint around. I have no rhyme or reason to this whatsoever. I don't even know what I'm painting, but it does look like my mood. So I guess that's a good thing. I feel like I need a fluffier brush. Hmm. Okay, so let's move on to the green. I think. You know what, we're just gonna go for it. I don't care if it looks good or not. We're going for it. All right, not exactly where I wanted it to go, but you know what? <laughs> fine it's totally fine everything's fine i feel like that dog in the the room in that meme where like the, the house is on fire and he's like this is fine it's fine everything's fine that's how i feel watercolor is hard i don't know how people do this i could see where it definitely like takes some serious skill for sure i will say that i am having a lot of fun i think i might do this all night <laughs> I may just be watercolor painting for like hours now. Like this is actually very, very therapeutic. Just to like sit here and like not give a crap. And you don't even have to draw the circle. You can just do like a whole paper. Just painting the paper somehow makes me feel better. And you know what? It feels good just to like slap some colors on there and like not care what it looks like. It kind of feels nice to rebel. <laughs> what am I rebelling against? My brain? Who knows, this is my final little circle. My interpretation, <laughs> it's glamorous, can't you tell? I'm in like a just angsty mood. I'm not really in an artistic kind of mood. So she like colored mountains, but that's not where my brain is right now. So my interpretation of this abstract art, we're gonna call it, is up here, I was more worried about being in the lines and obviously I went for a dark color because I was anxious and um, almost a little angry in the beginning. Um, and then I went down to a blue just to transition into a color and you can see I started not giving a crap. And then the green, I guess could represent like new life and happiness and peace and tranquility. I call this one chaos until tranquil. I'll be selling these on Etsy for $500 later, don't worry. All right, let's do another one, because now I'm excited. We're not gonna do a guided one this time. I think I'm gonna break out on my own and just paint whatever I feel like painting. I'm just gonna 
just put my feelings on this page. I don't know what it's going to be. I don't know how it's going to look. It may be ugly and that's fine because sometimes feelings are ugly. I swear like today is like the worst Friday the 13th ever. I feel like everything that has like could go wrong is going wrong. I'm just like so frustrated. Do you ever get like tension in the back of your neck because you're so like anxious? That's how I feel right now. Anyways, let's power through. We're gonna draw these feelings out. Let's just see what happens. I think I'm gonna take some green. And I'm just gonna, we're just gonna go for it. This is how it's coming out so far. I just started drawing plants. I don't know why. It just made me happy. And honestly, I'm getting into watercolor because this is amazing. Just put a ton of water and like let it bleed down. That is so satisfying. Why have I never done this before? 10 out of 10, do recommend. So this is how it's turning out so far. I've got Harry Styles' new album playing and I'm just painting. This is a good time. So my final thoughts on art therapy for anxiety and depression. I think it is a great thing for anxiety and for depression. I do wanna mention one thing. So I was painting this which I was loving. I was loving how this was turning out. And then I went to write a word over here, realized writing a word in watercolor is probably not a great idea. And it turned out like poo poo. So then I got upset because then I'm, you know, I messed up my artwork because this is so beautiful. And now this looks like poo poo and you can't erase it. So I'm going to walk away before it like starts to stress me out. I think if your anxiety is rooted in control or things like that stress you out, then you have to be aware of like when is a good time to stop so that it doesn't become frustrating. Like the second it stops becoming fun, walk away from it. But I think it's a good thing. I think this was fun, honestly, the doing like following the video and just kind of like letting it flow out like this, where it's more abstract, I think is more my cup of tea. It was definitely more relaxing. And this was fun too, just like playing around with like the different techniques. Watercolor in itself is just fun to like play around with the different techniques, drip water on it, let it drip down. It's very therapeutic. So I definitely will be doing this again. I think it will take some experimenting, like things that I sh probably shouldn't do. I should stay away from things that stress me out, like trying to make things too perfect. That in, within itself was a teaching moment and a lesson for me to, okay, like, let's keep it lighthearted and fun. Like, it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, it's all about that. Figuring out like your mind's way of getting to certain places, if that makes sense. Quickly wanna mention another method that I use. I have this book called a Moodle, I think is what it's called. It's like a journal. It has different sections for like stress or if you're feeling happy or you know whatever mood you're in you can turn to those pages and it's kind of like a uh, like a wreck it journal um where you can like tear out pages there's places to like um fold like origami there's places to draw places to write and that seems to help a lot just to get your mind off whatever for a f just a few minutes if i can find that on amazon i will leave it linked down below there's plenty of things out there like it though i mean even dollar tree had um coloring books like adult coloring books i know can be very therapeutic so there's plenty of resources out there i will link a ton of them down below for you guys to check out so let me know down in the comments below. Have you ever tried art therapy? Do you use a journal? Do you paint? Do you draw? What's an outlet that you use to help get out those anxieties and fears and worries and to help combat your depression? Let me know all that down in the comments below. As you guys know, I like to end all of my videos with an inspirational quote that comes from one of you guys. All you have to do to participate in this is leave an inspirational quote down below along with whatever you want to promote. Maybe it's your Instagram, your small business, your Etsy shop, your Poshmark closet. Leave that down below along with an inspirational quote and you can be featured in my next video. So today's quote comes from Hell's a poppin and she says there are two ways of spreading light to be the candle or the mirror that reflects it. That is such a good quote. Thank you so much for sharing that. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure and give it a thumbs up on your way out. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join our family. We would love to have you. I put new videos out every Wednesday and Friday, and I will see you guys on Wednesday. Bye, guys.